Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my Sony Vegas video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to fix a problem that's cropped up for a lot of people who are using Sony Movie Studio and MP4 files or move files or files that involve the MP4 compression. And the problem is that when you load those files onto your timeline, you see the video, but you don't hear the audio. And this can be a problem if you're using the Kodak ZI8 or some of the other flip type cameras that do encode the audio in MP4. The good news is there's an easy solution to fix this. I'll show you what I mean. If you go to the Sony customer support website, you'll see that there is a message that says MP4 audio no longer functional and explains what the problem is. And the problem is the latest release of QuickTime or iTunes. If you've installed that on your computer, it'll mean that the MP4 audio files within your video are not going to play unless you make a few changes. The changes are pretty easy. First thing you want to do is go to the page that you see on the screen here. And then close Sony Movie Studio. And the next thing you want to do is you want to click this link that says download this file. You download the file. And once the file is downloaded, you want to open the folder that the file is in. And in that folder, you want to highlight the file and copy it. And then close that folder. And the next thing you want to do, just like the instructions say here, is you want to open a folder on your computer where this file is stored within Sony Movie Studio. And this is where it's stored right here. To go to it, you go to Program Files, Sony, Sony Movie Studio, and then File I.O. Plugins, and then QT7 Plugins. Sounds like it's hard to find, but it really isn't. I'll show you where it is. I'm running Windows 7, so on my computer, it's in the C drive. It's under Program Files x86, the Sony folder, the Vegas Movie Studio Platinum folder, the file I.O. plugins, and then the QT7 plug folder. And when you get there, you'll see something that looks like this. And just like the instructions say, you want to highlight that file, qt7plug.dll, right-click, select Rename, and just rename it Plug Old, just so that you know which one it is. And then select Edit and Paste, and this is going to put the new one in. And then there's the new file. That's all you have to do. If you put this in the correct folder, when you go back to Sony Vegas Movie Studio, You'll find you'll now be able to play all the files that have MP4 audio files on them. This is an easy fix, and again, to find this fix, you want to go to the page at the Sony support site using the link that you see above, and just follow those simple instructions. You only have to do this one time, except every time you update your QuickTime player from Apple or you update your iTunes software, you're probably going to have to come back in and replace this file again. But it's easy to do, and once you do it, it solves all the problems. I'm Bill Myers. You can find more tips like this at www.bmyers.com. Plus, you can find more than 101 tips and tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio in my DVD, 100 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at my site as well as at Amazon.